The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. In a first ever joint ministerial meeting, delegates from Russia and the Gulf Cooperation Council agreed to work toward completely eliminating weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East as well as fostering cooperation in other areas. Thanks to China's healthcare reform policy that went into effect in 2009, with new measures that include rural cooperatives offering medical care, 90% of all residents now participate in the country's basic medical insurance system, even as services continue to be improved. In an annual survey conducted by People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, Lincoln Financial Field in Pennsylvania, USA, home to the National Football League team, the Philadelphia Eagles, is named most vegetarian-friendly stadium in the US. Visiting British delegates from various accounting organizations meet with their counterparts in OLAC or Vietnam, where they agree to work together towards standardizing practices that will benefit OLAC's participation in international markets. Mr. Robert King, an alumnus of Stanford University, University in California, USA, and his wife Dorothy donate 100 million US dollars and 50 million US dollars in matching funds for the university's establishment of a special institute dedicated to assisting and increasing prosperity in developing nations. Russian officials announced the successful conclusion of Mars 500, a 520 day study conducted with a six man international crew that simulated the many psychological and physical effects of long term spaceflight in preparation for a future mission to Mars. In the UK, upon learning of Ms. Laura Binder's cancer diagnosis and discouraged state of mind, her nine-year-old daughter, Lindsay, writes a loving note of cheer every day to her mum, with tests seven months later finding Ms. Binder to be what one doctor called miraculously cancer-free. U.S. animal activist and television celebrity Bob Barker, along with U.S. actress and vegetarian Georgia Fox, joined several animal welfare organizations in launching a bill that, if passed by the U.S. Congress, would ban the use of wild and exotic animals in circuses. 